What up guys and welcome back to another Overwatch. As you can see I still desperately need a haircut. This shit is ridiculous but I woke up today and it was thunderstorming and it was rainy and my phone just dropped on the floor. And I really was not feeling it to drive into town and get a haircut so tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. You guys probably know that I like to feature fan arts at the beginning of my videos so I actually only got sent one which is uh, a bit rip but I really appreciate everyone who sends me them. This piece is by Austin. It's like a cool little pixel art drawing without the face. A lot of people send me uh, kind of pixel art drawings without the face. I think it's because the face is really hard to do or maybe it's like a certain style, something like that. But either way, thank you very much Austin for sending me that. At least I had one to feature at the beginning of my video and if you guys want to send me fan art the email will be in the description down below it is fan art at sparkles.ninja now I recently played matchmaking again I haven't played matchmaking in ages but I thought eh, it's time to get my global back for sure and I came across this cheater right here which is great he was literally spin botting the shit out of us and that really demotivated me to play any more matchmaking so this is a, it's a good driving force to do this overwatch catch more cheaters out we all reported him so hopefully he's got banned by now we can catch out some cheaters here and rid the community of so so many cheaters in this game it's absolutely ridiculous but it's time to keen it up time to put the headset on listen for those footsteps see what kind of info we can gather and it is on cobble that's interesting we don't normally get on cobble and it's round 21 it's pretty late into the game the suspect top fragging on 25 for 18 rocking the fam ass terrorists making their way towards B it looks like I wonder if this is the updated version of Cobble that came out fairly recently with the uh, the whole bombsite B changes with the steps and stuff like that. But the suspect is playing very aggressive. He's just deciding to straight up push. They are actually down at the moment versus the terrorists. But his teammate seems to be playing even more aggressive with the Deagle. And nothing aim locky so far. I don't see anything aim locky. Because usually even when, uh, I think on most hacks, I don't know, I don't have enough hack experience, but I think even with most hacks... What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was weird, the terrorist just like literally straight up died. Okay, that was weird, maybe that was some kind of demo glitch. But yeah, anyway, on most hacks, I think uh, the crosshair does lock to the person even when you're out of ammo, unless maybe you've got some kind of crazy premium hack. I don't even know, I don't know enough about hacks. But I do know when a guy is cheating. I can I can tell you that, when a guy is cheating or not. Oh, I thought the suspect got that kill and I was like, he's cheating, but no, he's definitely... Okay, maybe that pre-fire was a bit, a bit too soon, I don't know. Obviously nothing confirmed yet, maybe you have a suspicious replay on that one. I think the AWP is a, a good weapon to catch people out on because I don't think this guy is using any kind of aim stuff so far. I have not witnessed any aim stuff. And I think aim stuff is probably some of the most obvious to start off with. So what we're looking for here is pre-fires and pre-fires with the AWP are some of the most obvious pre-fires there are. So there's only one terrorist remaining. Bomb is down, being guarded, and the suspect is chasing the terrorist. He seems to know that He's going for the bomb. Oh, the suspect is like slow walking when the terrorist is slow walking, which is a bit strange. Like it could be completely coincidental timing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the moment the guy started slow walking, maybe he heard, maybe he heard, but it was quite a long distance to hear from. It's possible though, it's possible. Still no evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Is that a fairly standard? pre-aim spot, the rock. I think that is a fairly standard pre-aim spot. People do pop out there, but he did pre-aim the shit out of that guy a rock, but he could just be a good player. He could just be a good player, you know. Uh, these bunny hops, they weren't great, they weren't great. I don't think they were scripted or anything like that. I don't, I, I'm finding it hard to judge whether he is like just you know, really fast with good reactions, or whether the pre-aims are a little bit too fast. So I'm going to toggle on and off X-Ray to help me kind of figure that shit out, because it's very easy to tell with the with the X-Ray, you know, because the people are there and you're like, oh, you know, you're going to shoot them. But when the X-Ray is off, it is a little easier to see. 
Okay, there's a guy all the way out there at Courtyard. He knows there's a guy out there at Courtyard. He does know there's a guy out there at Courtyard. The way he was looking at that guy was very suspicious, to be honest. It was very suspicious. And the way he's pre-firing these guys as well. I am honestly leaning a little bit more towards walls now. That's fucking weird. Maybe he got info from his teammate who's standing right there, but he just shooting at that guy through the smoke perfectly. I think he's cheating. I think he's cheating. The way he is pre-aiming and looking at people, I think he's just trying to hide it. Yeah, at the moment my opinion has swayed. Obviously, the uh, the closer the game is, you know, it's literally right at the tipping point. Terrorists have one round to win, so he's going to have to basically go pretty obvious. He's going to have to go as obvious as he can, really. And I'm toggling on and off the x-ray a little bit, so we can see. This guy seems to be pushing mid. Let's look at his reactions. Ain't nothing cheaty about that, pretty standard reactions. Oh, that would have been interesting to have the x-ray on for the walls there. That would have been interesting. So I'm going to leave that on a little bit. And they are pushing down drop. He can hear them. He's going to push through the smoking window. No reason. Yeah, he is. He is. I thought he got lost in the smoke there, but he's good. And let's look at these. I don't know. I, I honestly, I think he's walling. I do think he's walling. Oh, he nearly mollowed himself to death there as well. Um... But these are the crucial rounds. These are what we need. I think he's literally just trying to hide it. Obviously, his teammate has the info now that he's at doors and he's get taken down. He gets taken down. So let's see how uh, how blatant the suspect actually turns it up. I mean, this is a real kind of iffy iffy case. Definitely not evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. And normally, I don't report people unless there's evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. But I just have this inkling, I have this gut feeling inside me that this guy is walling. He's not aimboying though, that's for sure. He's not aimboying. Look, he's just aiming precisely there when there is a guy there because he knows the guy's waiting. For him. He's cheating. He is cheating. Like, if that was any normal player, I think they'd carry on concentrating on the people on site that they missed. And one on site. He's trying to mollow him, and there's one at tree as well. <laughs> he keeps running into his own mollows. I don't know what's up with that. But that was that was an interesting case, though. That. that was a toughie. That was a toughie. Um, I think I'm going to have to say he had vision assistance, to be honest. I don't know if many other people on that case will agree with me, but I, 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 honestly, I don't think it's evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Oh, hit my mic there. But I do just have that gut feeling. I have that gut feeling, and so I'm going to have to do it. Maybe I'm a, little, I'm a little bit bloodthirsty after that loss to those cheaters and, uh, and no global for me. Yeah, guys, let me know if you agree with me in the comments or not. That was a really interesting case. I enjoyed that one. And once again, if you want to send me any fan art I can feature at the beginning of my videos, that would be awesome. It'll be in the description down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.